Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So let's start this week with a nice Bitcoin TA. Today we're gonna analyze also the DXY and the CME chart because guess what? We have a new CME gap. All right, so let's start here with the spot chart in the one hour time frame because as you can see, it looks like that Bitcoin is forming another bearish pattern here. This potential rising wedge, which tends to break out to the downside. Currently, we are keeping up a support here at 10,620 and the resistance up here at 10,750. So if you recall my prediction from last week, I told you that most likely we are going to see $10,700 before maybe we're gonna see continuation to the downside. So now what I'm expecting here is a potential continuation to the downside after topping out here $10,700. Of course, it would be very bullish if we can break through here and test again this $11,000 or maybe even go higher. But at least for now, I think we will see some continuation to the downside potentially when the US markets are going to open again today. But let's see what the day will bring because currently in the lower time frames we have some bearish signs. Here currently you see that we had a little bearish divergence. We already played out here this little dump. We came here to the 50 level in the RSI. The problem here is only that currently we are still trading below the 200 moving average. And also I got a sell signal here in the one hour time frame. And I think that at least for now we topped out at 10,750 and very soon we're gonna break out here to the downside. Also, if we compare it to the DXY, you can see that I got a buy signal here, so exactly the opposite, and I'm expecting here a possible bounce towards the 200 moving average in the one hour time frame to test here this 94 dollar level. So here on the DXY, we are still trading here upon our support of 93.40 and our resistance here of 90. 450. So here in the one hour time frame, I'm expecting some continuation to the upside in the DXY, which could lead into a correction in the Bitcoin price. And if we have a look into the CME chart, you can see that currently we have a future gap down to 10,580. So in my opinion, very likely is that we're gonna fill this gap within today or in the next couple of hours. And if not, we're gonna sooner or later also going to close this gap as well, like usually we always did in the past. So here, since I got here some bearish signs in the lower time frame, I'm expecting this gap to get filled pretty soon. And in order to get it filled, we need to break out here to the downside. Let's see if today we can close this gap or not, but it's a new gap that we created over the weekend. And if we go over into the Bollinger Band, you can see that currently we are starting to trade here in the lower end. So if here we are getting rejected at 10,650 again, prepare to see again prices at 10,570 and possibly also lower. So I think most likely we are going to overshoot it to the downside here as soon as we are having this breakout to the downside from this rising wedge, because the target would be in theory at least down here towards 10,380. And uh, we also have uh, MACD and KST with a bearish cross. So this could lead into a possible correction. Only stochastic here is already oversold. So maybe we will see some pushes more to the upside in the next couple of hours. But overall, I think here we're gonna see continuation to the downside. And also if we switch over into the four hour, you can see that currently we're trading between all the moving averages. So we're waiting here for a possible rejection here, especially from the 50 moving average, which currently we didn't manage to close a four hour candle above this moving average. And also here, I think very likely that we're going to see a possible little correction to the downside, at least towards this 10,380. Also because the RSI is right at the 50 level. And if we would lose here the 50 level in the RSI, prepare for for a little sell-off towards oversold condition here. And we still have a lot of room left to the downside. So I think a little correction at least towards 10,380 is in the cards, maybe even today. And if we are not able to keep up with this support and watch out here for this green trend line here at 10,140, because that in theory should hold the price if we're gonna see a, a bigger correction today. And only if we would lose all of this $10,160 level, then I think we will go most likely towards our bearish target of around $9,000 pretty soon. Maybe we're gonna have a bounce towards 9.5 or 9.2, but overall I think $9,000 is very easy to get reached. And if we go over into the Bollinger Band in the four hour time frame, 
you can see that currently we are trading still on the bullish side but we are getting rejected here from the top of the Bollinger Band so right here $10,700 which was also my target to get reached so if here we're gonna have a four hour close below 10,570 then I'm expecting this correction towards this $10,380 we have MACD and KSD still shifted to the upside but stochastic here is looking toppy so as soon as here we're starting to correct I'm expecting a bearish cross in the MACD and KSD and also a cool off in the stochastic but so far in the four hour time frames it looks like that we're still trading on the bullish side so in theory we should see continuation to the upside but if here we're gonna have a four hour close below 10,570 then I'm expecting this play out of this bigger correction that I think will happen very very soon and if we have a look into the DXY here you can see that currently we are trading on the lower side of the RSI so below the 50 level once we are able to bring the RSI again above the 50 level and also close a four hour candle above the 20 moving average which so far is giving us resistance i'm expecting here continuation to the upside to retest this resistance that we have here this green trend line and then potentially a breakout to the upside but of course as long as we're having this green trend line as a resistance we are still trending downwards here in the dxy and that of course is good for the stock market and also for the bitcoin price but if here we're going to see continuation to the upside and break this 9450 then prepare for a bigger sell-off in the stock market and also in the bitcoin price and now let's open up the daily time frame because in the daily we are still struggling here to break through the 20 daily moving average although yesterday we had a close below the 20 daily and all the indicators are quite flat here at the moment my own indicator and also the RSI they are all trending along the middle line so here we are still waiting for a big move and in my opinion it's most likely still to the downside potentially to test here the old resistance which now should be new support here at around nine thousand dollar so here on the spot market the 200 daily moving average is currently at $9,500 which is good there I'm expecting some initial bounces but there is still a high chance that maybe we could wick down here towards $9,200 where we have a fib line and also where our previous big resistance line was lining up and now it should be our new support and if we go over into the Bollinger Band you can see that currently we're right here in the middle line depending where we're gonna close here daily candles again above 10,700 or below this will tell us if we're gonna see continuation to the downside towards the bottom here of around $10,330 or continuation to the upside and in that case we would most likely gonna retest this $11,000 pretty soon even stochastic MACD and KSD are completely flat so here we are really waiting for a next big move and since we have some bearish signs in the lower time frame I'm expecting continuation here to the downside rather than to the upside but if from here on we are able to go again towards 11,000 and create a support above 11,000 then I think we are good to go to retest also 12k and probably also break it but as i told you my friends at the moment i just see too many bearish signs in the lower time frames and that's why i'm expecting here corrections to the downside we have now this new cme gap below of us and also the old one at nine thousand six hundred dollar if we go over into the dxy in the daily you can see that here we have the opposite we are bouncing from the 20 daily moving average and if here we have a big bounce to the upside and also maybe go up here to test the 200 daily moving average at $97 then this would lead into a bigger correction in several assets RSI also is cooling off down to the 50 level so the DXY in the daily is looking way more healthy than the rest of the market in my opinion so that's why here I'm expecting a possible big bounce to the upside potentially to this target up here and that of course would be very bearish for the Bitcoin price and that's why I'm still careful and watching also the DXY what it's doing here right now because if here we're gonna have a big push to the upside and be prepared for a major sell-off only if we would start to close daily candles again below the 20 and 50 daily moving average then yes we will continue here to go lower and this would be of course very very healthy for the Bitcoin price and overall all the stock market and now let's go back to the Bitcoin chart and open up all the weekly time frame because we had another nicely close here above the 20 weekly moving average and that is of course what we want to see during a bull market so even though we could have a couple of days below the 20 weekly moving average the important thing is that we're gonna close these weekly candles above 10,250 right now so above the 20 weekly moving average which is perfectly lining up with our main support down here that we had since May this year so 
that means as long as we're closing these weekly candles above this important trend line we should be good to go to the upside so if you're able to buy some bitcoin below this moving average during this bull run then i think this will be the perfect entry especially for the long term because we also have the rsi above the 50 level here in the weekly we are looking very healthy and if we go over into the Bollinger Band here, although you can see that we're still trading between these two moving averages. So even though we could have maybe some days below the middle line, so below $10,300, important is that we're not going to close the weekly candles below this important price level. Otherwise, we could stay stuck in this lower end here in the bearish side in the Bollinger Band for a couple of days or weeks before we are able again to pull back up here and also gain more momentum to the upside. And here in theory, we could drop even towards $8,500 because this is now the new weekly bottom in the Bollinger Band. So from $8,000, we came up here to $8,500, which of course is very bullish. The problem is only that right now we have a bearish cross in the MACD and KSD. So that could lead, of course, in a short lift correction to the downside, hopefully, because I don't think that we will stay for a very long time in these regions here towards 9K. And that's why I make sure that you're prepared to buy in and go long once we're reaching those levels and once we are getting again buy signals to go all in because that could be really the last opportunity to buy cheap bitcoin and altcoins stochastic is also already oversold here so it's just a matter of time till here we're gonna definitely create a bottom and then start our next parabolic run to the upside because overall the bitcoin price is moving sideways here we just had here this uh, big pump towards 12,500, and then we retrace back down here to where we were stuck here although for several weeks here at around ten thousand dollars so we are just building up a nice support here at these price levels maybe have another week to the downside close all the cme gaps and then start again the new parabolic run to the upside at least this is my expectation and what also i'm hoping to happen here in the next couple of days so finally we can close all the gaps buy everything in that we wanted to buy altcoins bitcoin whatever and then be ready for the next run up and if you want to profit as much as possible from these big pumps and dumps that we're having all the time, then make sure to use one of the recommended exchanges that you find down below here in the video description, because these are the exchanges that I also use. I recommend you this very much, especially Bybit, Femex and Bityard. If you need an account, use the links that you find down below here. You can get some sign up bonus and also you support the channel. And please also join my Discord trading chat and my channel over on Twitch because I do daily TA videos and always when there is something important happening, I always put it over on Discord. So make sure to follow me also over there. And with that said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for now. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to moon up the likes and also subscribe to the channel. Very much appreciated. And we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.